over a year ago, I created a video about how to discipline your child without yelling or spanking, and I got some really good feedback from that video. I received a comment from Jason Barrow about three weeks ago, and after I read the comment, it motivated me to create a series about the topic. In the comment, this is what he said. I have spanked my kids and yelled and I can clearly see it's not helpful. It really teaches them to be violent. That's why I'm looking up this video because I see my ways don't work at all, but this was how I was raised. So this is how I react. But me and my wife was just talking about this doesn't work. We need to be the adults in the situation. They will clearly act like kids if we do. So once I received that feedback from Jason, it motivated me to do a updated version about this particular topic. If this is your first time visiting, first I want to tell you just a little bit about myself right quick. I'm a wife, mom, and also a stepmom. My husband and I, we have nine children together. Two of our kids I actually birthed. We have been married for 28 and a half years, even though we have a huge family. I never had any issues with disciplining my children, getting them to listen to me. I never had to raise my voice or spank them. There is a key of getting your children to listen to you. In these series of videos, I'm going to teach you what the key is. So make sure you stick around and watch the full video and also stay tuned for the next upload. In this video, I'm going to talk about your behavior. Your behavior does matter. It matters so much more than what you think. By the way that you act, you're teaching your child how to interact with others. And you're also teaching your child how to interact with you. When your children are young, especially in their toddler age, they like to imitate us and they want to be like us. Even if you watch your child while they're playing with their toys, the things that they say when they're playing pretend, a lot of times they are just reacting the way that we act. A couple of years ago, I worked at a daycare. I worked in an infant room and most of them was like around the age of, I would say from like nine months till one and a half. So every day I would let the kids just play and interact with each other while we were in the room at a certain time of the day. But then sometimes while they were playing, I may have made a mistake and bumped into one of them. Whenever I would bump into one of them, I would always say, excuse me, or I'm sorry. And I noticed later, they start doing the same thing with each other. If they made a mistake and made one of them fall, or bump into each other, they would say, I'm sorry, or excuse me. And just by teaching them that, it helped me to notice how important it is for me to Ike the way that I wanted them to Ike. So just from that incident, it taught me how important it was for me to teach them how I wanted them to behave towards one another and also with myself. If you are a spanker, don't spank your child. And the reason why I feel that you shouldn't spank your child is because that you are teaching them how to react and how to respond to others when you spank them. They're learning that from you unconsciously. You are teaching them how to be violent towards others. Okay, just think about it. If you spank your child and when your child is playing with other kids, if the other child takes something from your child, how do you think your child is going to respond? Or how do you want your child to respond? I mean, no doubt if you spank your child when they're around other children and the other child do something to your child that they don't like, they're gonna hit them. 
you, and that may not bother you now, but now when your child goes to grade school and they hit another child, your child will end up staying in detention all the time just because of the way that your child responded to the other child. So you don't want to teach them to hit or to bully other kids. So you don't want to teach your child that it's okay when someone makes you upset to hit them. Instead, you want to teach your child how to handle those kind of situations. What to do when someone makes you upset or when someone does something wrong to you. How to communicate. How to tell someone instead of lashing out. Another thing about when you spank your child is to you are unconsciously teaching them that it's okay to lose your temper. This is how you respond when you lose your temper. If you're raising a boy, it's really not good because unconsciously you could be teaching them when they become teenagers or young adults, they can bring that same type of bullying attitude into their relationships. Have you ever been around someone whenever they get upset, they like to throw something or they like to break something? And that's the wrong attitude because it's like you have to learn how to handle stress or what to do when you get really upset. And one thing I have learned with kids, especially working in a daycare, there will be times to where, you know, you may feel overwhelmed or you may lose your patience with your children. The best thing for you to do is just to walk away for a couple of minutes. Walk away until you calm down and then once you have calmed down, you go back to that situation and figure out what you need to do to handle it. Being a parent is hard. And I can say that also with parenting, you are going to make some mistakes. I made some mistakes as a parent, but the difference is that whenever I made a mistake, I noticed it and I told myself, you're not gonna do that again. For example, I remember when my youngest daughter, I believe she was maybe like three years old then, and for some reason I noticed she had got to where whenever I would tell her to do something, she wasn't paying me any attention. So I can remember thinking, okay, I'm going to have to spank her. So I got a switch and I spanked her. And I remember after I spanked her, I didn't like the way I felt. It just didn't feel good for me. And I felt bad about it. And I made a commitment to myself that I would never spank her again. And I didn't. So I want to encourage you not to spank or yell at your child. And you may ask, if I don't yell or spank my child, how do I get my child to listen to me? Make sure you stay tuned for the next video because in the next video, I'm going to share with you the importance of treating your child the way that you want to be treated. Once you learn to do that, it turns everything else around for you. You will learn that you get back what you put out. I have a question for you. Do you spank your child? If you spank your child, does it work for you? If you like my message and this video was a help to you, make sure you subscribe to my channel and also click the notification bell. That way you will be informed every time I upload a video. If you have any questions for me or if it's a particular topic that you would like for me to create more videos on, you can email me at chatswithflow at gmail.com. Thank you for tuning in. Bye.